Okay, we got some more Zoomers in class. Welcome. We're relaxing on the back for more mercifully blissful minutes. And now the YouTube is on and I see the friends coming in. Welcome wherever in the world you're cruising in. From. Not supposed to end a sentence in a preposition. Now find your breath. If you're not breathing, please start. And if you are, just find your breath, smooth it out, let it deepen and relax and smooth out. Now maybe we can breathe from our belly button now and do that ritual of one minute of feeling our feels, breathing our feelings, feeling our breathings, catch up with your emotions. Okay, we felt our feels. Take the biggest, deepest inhale you got. Whopping big inhale. Exhale, let it go. We are calm and peaceful souls. Good, now wiggle your fingers and toes and circulate some extra super joyful springtime feel good through yourself. Happiness is a choice. We can't be forced into being happy, I've noticed. Good, take your arms up to the ceiling. And turn your palms up, stretch up over your head, get a good stretch. Writhe around a little bit in ecstasy. Good, draw your knees in, roll around on your back. Get your happy on. Good, let's roll up together. <clears throat> Hello, I have cat on my head disorder. It's a weird disease, it breaks out in the springtime. Before you know it, you look up and there's a cat bouncing on your head. What's the cure for it? I'm not sure it's a malady. I think maybe you just try to enjoy it. Anyway, there's a lot of friends watching on YouTube and there's three good friends watching on Zoom. So I'm gonna say hi to Anna and Kristen and Karen, nice to have you. It's great to see my lovely lady friends. Whoa. Anyway, we're gonna do Saturday at yoga in just a sec. Oh, I love my cat. I hope your pets are nearby. Anyway, we should get at it. No more dilly-dallying. I do like to have fun on Saturday. Let's chant an ohm. What do you say? Big inhale. Oh, oh boy. Hang on. That one got stuck. Oh.
Okay, we'll bring in our hands to our heart to offer a little uh, sanctification of our practice. God, love, source, infinite, higher organizing wisdom. Personally, I'm fine with God. Bless us with lots of love and light and truth today that we might be the best we can and be rays of sunshine in this world. Om, amen. Okay, and the kids started on their feet, which is a Saturday thing. So I bought this large package from Amazon, pretty big box, a lot of crinkly paper and uh, cellophane. And my cat is just having the greatest time in the universe. I bought the cat at least $500 worth of cat toys, but it's the, uh, it's the trash, you know? Just zombie stepping with my friends. I'm stepping out with my friends. Dude, you're going to have to stop that. You're making noise. Three. <laughs> he does not listen. Good. All right. Slacky per quacky. My feet are sinking into the sand at the beautiful beach with the turquoise water. Close your eyes and swing your arms. You just got out of the beautiful 80 degree water and you're just going to swing your arms and cool off and let the sunbeams hit you and feel your feet on the warm sand and glory in the goodness of life. Three, two, one. Good job. All right. Now I'm going to step out a little wider. Got my cat t shirt on, arms out, big hugs. And right knee, left, right, left. Just waking up. Ooh. I've already been to DVC today voluntarily for an hour's worth of piano practice with the with the big kids, the experts. Two, one. Good job. Okay, feet are hip distance apart. And we're going to do amber waves of grain with super relaxed arms, relaxed hair, soft feet, open hearts, willing minds. This is about having spring in our body. There's something very youthful about spring, isn't there? You got little kids, are, they bounce all over the place. My kitten bounces all around. Three. You don't have to lose that spring. You can have it. Inhale up, feet together. Stand up on your tippy toes. Let me see your belly button. Way up. Way up. 20, 19, 18, 17, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, to stay up on one way up close your eyes balance on your tippies excellent keep fighting like a wildcat if you need to open your eyes big wide open eyes let in more light and proves balanced drop heels knuckles on your head first side bend left i like that we have a ritual sequence of movements we can dive in together and find that groove Inhale up. Rituals are good. They're sh sort of, how shall we say, shortcuts to the divine. There are no shortcuts, but there, there, are the, there is the most intelligent path. Inhale up. Stretch up. Release out. Dangle your bangle. First forward fold. I grab my blocks unwittingly. I forgot that I didn't have them in front of me. I want you to hang forward. I want you to hang out with me. I want you to pedal your heels. I want you to oscillate your buns left and right. I want you to wag your shag out, dip your dew, lose your mind. Let's stop thinking together. Sometimes you get together with people like to think, like in a committee or a project. Sometimes you get together with people to stop thinking so much. Lift heels, bend knees, look forward, hello. Exhale, deepen, we are 
seeking an experience together today. One, down deeper, two, three. Arise up, friends. Up you go. Upcoming developments. Reach out. Okay, this is where the elite meet to work on their feet. Left foot forward, right toenails, and swish your heel around in a saucy fashion. Saucy, there's an adjective I haven't used for a while. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Sink into your alternately flexed ankles, spine straight up and down, but drop in. Close your eyes, feel your feet. Equal weight over each foot, assuming you have two. And come on out, open your eyes, right foot forward, lefty toenails. And swim your heel around in a perky fashion. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This keeps the life force going all the way down to your feet. Other way, yogis have a distressing saying. They say that we die from the feet up. The life force starts to withdraw, but not if you do your yoga. You keep your perkiness going down to your feet. Seven, eight, sink into your feet. I believe these bodies that God gave us are designed to be in really good working order for as long as we need them before we slough them off and go, well, you know where you're going, right? Sink in, close your eyes. We are calm and peaceful souls. Good, all right. Kind of a wide stance, regular old inhale. And arms behind your back, four exciting poofs up your back behind your neck and they shouted poof together after a while in your spiritual pursuit you don't need evidence anymore you have poof i like stimulating my back on the way up poof i call this polishing my chakras one more poof now lace your hands behind your back heels in toes out Squatty potty and head and butt on the floor. Down, 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 down. It's the 70s, get down. Inhale, look forward, drop booty buns. Hello. Exhale, head and butt on the floor. Arms all the way over. Drop down. Inhale, come on up. Release your arms, toes in, heels out, lace up high. Drop your hands and push the sky up. Starfish left. Mm, say something yummy like mm. inhale. Make a happy noise. Ooh. Ooh. Good kids. Come on up and release. I like where this is going. That's my new mantra. I like where this is going. Lace your hands and drag your thumbs down the side of your neck at least i shaved my neck later today i'll shave this scratchy beard off but at least i got to my neck so i didn't look like a person that scares people away five four three two one thumbs underneath your jaw relax your face down into your hands forget about your cares and worries and dig your thumbs underneath your jawbone with your face relaxed find that little button under your jaw that pops your head off oh some relief some movement some relief Hold steady pressure. Stop thinking. Relax your hands down, drop your chin. 
eight head rolls. One, two, three. Getting congestion and stickiness out of our joints, not, our, not just our physical joints, our mental, emotional, spiritual joints. Seven, eight, other way. That's where yoga really filled in a spiritual gap for me in my understanding and experience. It was, I needed the physical movement to break open the, the pain, the grief, the anxiety, the fear, start to dissipate it. Six, seven, eight. Let's relax our head down in humility for 20 seconds. Feel down into your magnificent body. It's the only one like it in the whole universe. What a gift. We are calm, peaceful souls. Okay, we continue. Shoulders, one. I can't get enough shoulder shrugs. I have to shoulder shrug every day. Otherwise, it'll back up on me. So this is Roto-Rooter for the shoulders. Five. I probably could have found a better analogy, but it works. Seven. Eight. Other way. One. Daylight savings time this weekend. Don't you love losing that hour of sleep? But don't you love being able to Go outside and ride your bike until eight o'clock. Six, seven, eight. Inhale, feet together. Push your feet down, push the sky up. Third side bend, lean in. Remember, side bends are a great time to make happy noise. Mm. Inhale. A big delicious meal is put in front of you and you say, mmm. He shall prepare a table before us. Mm, up you go. And Uttanasana, forward fold. Come on down. Pull the pin out of your hair. Wag your hair out like that librarian. Bend knees, look forward, lift heels. Exhale, grab ankles, go deep, my super strong friends. One, two, feel it together. Three. Come on up, we continue. Up you go. Step out wide for fun. Release out. And let's get handsome together. My students are the most handsome students because their hands move around and they're just frankly handsome. Other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Shake it off, shake it off. Life is difficult, gotta shake it off sometimes and trudge that road of happy destiny. We may not be in heaven now, but it doesn't mean that we can't have a lot more of it and bring a lot more of it, that's for sure. I guess all of us could ask on a daily basis, did I bring a little bit of heaven on earth or did I bring a little bit of hell? <laughs> Faster, faster, alabaster. Uh, good, and we'll bring our hands to our heart, drop our chin, close our eyes, and feel holy, sacred, and reverent, abundant, prosperous, and grateful. But it's Saturday, so we must keep going. Inhale, got to rub my eye. Exhale, one arm inhales and exhales. What's up, what's up with my eye? Good, exhale out. Hands on your hippies. Toes in, heels out. And churn your butter. Churn the butt. -er. Now in my class, my students are so good, their heads don't move, but their hips circumnavigate the globes. I don't know, Saturdays just gotta, gotta use your hips. Seven. Eight, other way, one. The cat on my t-shirt gets seasick during this movement. 
five, six, seven. Doesn't it make sense to do this once a day, at least? Inhale. Exhale out. Now we're going to do standing ohm together, long, loud, and proud. I'm going to make up for my first stuck ohm. Up you go. Mo. Close your eyes, drop your chin. Take a nice silent moment of your own to pray. Aim your soul toward the highest you know. You know? Good. Now lace these self-same hands, bring these feet together, and world-famous knee loops. One, two, Three, grind it down. Five, six, seven, eight. Other way. It's all about springy, resilient, buoyant, you guys. People in my class tend to look 20 to 25 years older than their chronicle, chronological age. It's just a thing. Seven, eight. <laughs> and you agree. Inhale, come up. And exhale out. Left arm in front of your right, palms in. Clap for yourself for coming to class, for having so much class. Feet are together, pull, fingers forward, party hats. Tippy toes, party hats. Way up, you guys, way up on tippy toes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Stay up on one, close your eyes. This is called being pulled out of quicksand by a helicopter. Sometimes you can't get out of the quicksand by yourself. The more you try, the more it goes in your nose. So you humble, extend, reach, and we will be lifted out. If we just quit struggling, drop your heels, palm trees left, Mm, side bends make happy sound. Inhale. Side bend right. Ooh. Ooh. Up you go. Arms are down. Flips them over. Uttanasana. Head falls off. Inhale. Look forward. Knees bent. Heels lifted. Exhale. Baya Kumbhaka. All the air out. You notice he's Greg's right. I can go deeper when I'm not breathing deep. Two, three. Arise up. Inhale. Release out. Right arm out in front of your left. Palms in. Hi, how you doings? Crisscross applesauce. Pull. Fingers forward. Hats for parties. Tippy party hat, toes, whatever. Extend up, elbows behind your head. Now super tippies, your five inch stilettos in the closet for special occasions. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay up on one and close your eyes, balance. Open your eyes, drop your heels, palm trees right. Mm -hmm. Inhale, palm trees left, yep. Leaning into your life, life is not a dress rehearsal. Up you go. Arms are down, a Uttanasana, a Vitanasana. Come on down, head drops off. Lift heels, bend knees, look forward, exceedingly bright future. Exhale, all the air out, grab ankles, buns up, heels down, deep and feel it. Two, three, it's Saturday. Okay, we continue. Up you go. And some arms out to the side for scary crows. The fun thing where you go as wide side to side, but your legs stay stable, firm, and planted. 
and it's fun to twist your arms in and out. You look pretty cool doing it. You know what this does? It just gets your it stimulates your happy gland. <laughs> that's that's as much science as I have. Good. Inhale. Prayer hands. Now scrunch a bunch down to your right left elbow outside your right knee. Tuck that elbow way outside. Pull your hands into your heart. Line up your knees and ankles. And I'm going to come serve tea on your back. I'm going to put about a 50 pound tea tray on your back and you're going to get down, drop your chin, get those knees out over your toes, get your heels down, and let's burn it up together, shall we? Let's cook ourselves. Things are really cooking for us. Check out your pedicure. That needs a little work. And three, two, one, drop your arms. Come up, friends. Woo! Inhale. I get a little lightheaded, but a lot of people accuse me of being somewhat lightheaded. Exhale out. Helium head. Inhale, prayer hands. And pull hands down, scrunch a bunch down to your left, right elbow, super down. Long armed friends can reach their right hand to the floor. I'm not one of those kids. Bend those knees, tuck hands, and get small. I'm going to come over to your house, going to stand on your back, going to jump up and down on you, and you're going to go, oh, as you get lower. Lift your toes. Wiggle them. They look like minions, don't they? Squish. Five, four. Three, two, one, come on up. Chant an ohm because you're kind of breathless. Inhale, I'll take your breath away. Inhale. Oh. Groovy. Inhale. Exhale, arms to the side. Palms open. Give me a big hug. Pull your arms back. And right arm, right arm under in English. Good. Now right knee over. Eagles. What's your favorite Eagle song? Hotel California. One of these nights. Sink in. Now lift your right foot and slink it behind your left ankle because you can do it and I can't. And let's go <clears throat> lower, lower. Mm -hmm. Balance, determination, fierce, concentration like an eagle. Good, arms out, right knee up. Just balancing like marionette, Pinocchio, Geppetto. Good, left hand grabs right foot behind your behind, right hand comes to the floor. And the lifetime pursuit of giving, getting our right knee down on the floor by bending our left ankle, left knee so much. Inhale, look forward while you're doing that. Let's examine our bright futures. Exhale, right knee fully to the ceiling, standing split, twist your hippies open up and to the right, head down, fully straight left leg, working it. Good, now right arm out to the side for five happy balance seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Right hand down, right leg shoots back, left arm twists open into Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana. Straighten out your wrist, point the fingernails to the ceiling, lift your right heel and grunt and groan with me. Lift those right toes, I suppose. Good, now left hand is to come down now and we super sweep our right arm, right hip open. We open up like we're three sheets to the wind, open those toes, fingernails, hair follicles, belly buttons, Good, right hand comes down now. 
For cleverness and coordination, we re-grab our right foot with our left hand, and we stand up with perfect person balance. Boop! Right knee comes out in front, and now we're large seabirds. We have a long way to fly, and we have to be very... Um, what's the word? Efficient with our movement. Good. Now right ankle over your left knee. Triangle pose. Two hands, a left foot. And I exhort and I exert my friends to squat as low as you can. Slide the left knee forward till your left calf and Achilles tendon scream. Ooh, lordy. This pose is religious. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Good. Now let's pray for eight seconds. I like praying with my friends. Group prayer very strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands on the block. Super bend left knee. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deepest forward fold of your whole life. One, butt up. Two, left leg straightens. Three, Repray with your hand mitts and come up into tree. Trees. Good. And sometimes you got to put your foot down. Inhale, kids. Exhale into relieving. Forget about it. Forward fold. Head falls off. Rolls down the bowling alley. Lift heels, bend knees, look forward. Exhale, we'll deepen in for a one, two, three, and start an uprising. Come on up. Up you go. Good job. We get a couple of breaths now just to recuperate for side B in a moment. Inhale. Breathing with my friends, we're all breathing the same air. That's an interesting thought. Even my enemies are breathing the same air I am. We share the same biology, regardless of ideology. Good arms out to the side for a couple of Cheryl Crows, just for fun. Saturday. Woo! Palms open for hugs. Palms pull back. Left arm is to sweep under. Left knee is to sweep over. Good. Now, if you're one of them gifted humans who can put your left ankle behind your right, now's the time. Right knee super bends. Underneath the, we're going to go underneath the bar here. Limbo down. What a good pose. I've chosen select movements from my 50 years of doing yoga, synthesized it into better than Bikram.com. Whoops, lost my balance. Good arms out, Marionette. Marie Antoinette pose. She lost her head over this pose. <laughs> I like it when she said, let them eat cake. I certainly would. Woo! Good, now right hand grabs left foot behind your behind. Left hand comes on down to the floor. And now your left knee does also. We look forward to each other, smiling, encouraging one another. Oh. Oh, lower, inhale, and twist them hippies up and to the left. Left knee points to the ceiling, head is all the way down, right leg fully straight, Urdhva Prasarita Ekapadasana standing split. Slightly bend right knee, right ankle, take left arm out to the side for flamingo pose. Five, four, three, two, one, left hand comes down now, left leg shoots back, right arm twists open into express yourself, big twisty half moon pose. Head shoots forward, left heel pushes back, arms open up, chest opens. This is, hey, I'm here, pose, hello, open up. Good, right hand comes down now. Start by twisting your left hippie open. Even externally rotate your left thigh bone. Left arm comes up now. Get as big as you can. It's a game show. Open up. Higher, bigger. Good. Left hand comes down now. 
For consistent coordination and cleverness, right hand re-grabs left foot behind your behind. That's why it's called your behind. It's behind you. Come on up. Boop. Left knee out in front. Large seabirds. I like doing this. Good. Left ankle over your right knee. Have a seat on your throne. Well, of course I have a throne. I'm a queen. Bend that right knee. Drop that right heel. Ooh, right Achilles calf squirming. Mmm. Feel that. Dig in. Life is for feeling. And life is for praying for eight seconds together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands on the block, super bend, right knee. Inhale, look forward. And the deepest forward fold of the whole day so far. One, two, three. Repray with your hands, kids. Come up with a plum and dignity, courage and grace. We'll put our foot down in its place. We'll inhale for an ohm to show how strong we are after a vigorous sequence. Belt it out, my Ethel Mermans. Oh, part the Red Sea. Why not? Oh, put it back together. 30 seconds standing. Prayerful, eyes closed, chin drops, meditation, contemplation. We might call it abiding in spirit. We are calm, peaceful souls. Okay, kitty cats, um, a momentary break. Tuck my shirt in, otherwise when I'm in down dog, my skirt goes up over my head and you just don't wanna see that. We're gonna do down dogs, you guys. Woof. Now for me, down dogs are no fun without blocks. I'm a block dog kind of guy, gonna pedal my heels a couple of times. Whether you're five years old or 50 years old or somewhere not there, down dogs are always provocative, frisky. Maybe you're best in show today. Mm, pushing my right heel down, all my weight over my right heel, all my weight over my left heel. Almost all the professional yoga instructors, they, their heels are down. They look perfect in this pose. and. I'm not that guy, I'm just, but what I can do is be enthusiastic and get my friends involved, pedal those heels, feel it. Good kids, now big inhale, and we're now going to step our right foot forward. Think, our left knee comes down, we inhale up yoga style. And then we turn chest to the right and we op out, open out into speedy the post office icon person, sink the hips, turn more to your right, misdeliver the mail further to your right. Now hook your left elbow super much outside your right knee, left hand on the floor, I can't do it. Hands in prayer otherwise. Now, now that you're bound, let the right knee release as far forward as you can and rip your hips down to the ceiling. I'm sorry, to the floor. One of those two platforms sink down. Losing my mind. Good. This is a good pose. Parivrita Ajayanasana. You want more frisky? Fold your left toes under and bring up your left knee. Push that left heel back, right knee forward. Three, two, one. Bring your knee down. Inhale your arms in front of you and up. Exhale your hands back down to the floor or to your blocks, as the case might be. 
and step back. Downward facing dog, woof. Pedal your heels, wag your buns, tilt your tail feathers up, drop your chest, put your ch chest on the floor. I've seen yogis who can do that. I've seen a lot with my eyes. Doctor my eyes, Jackson Brown. Good, we'll inhale together. Then the kids step their left foot forward for lunge. Let's do lunge together, right knee down. We'll inhale up and we'll turn left and blossom our arms out to the side. Turn more left, left knee forward. Sink those hips. Now take your right elbow outside your left knee, right hand on the floor for the crazy flexible hands in prayer otherwise. Once you're bound, the elbows outside the knee, slide left knee super forward. And then the zingy part, fold your right tippy toes under and push your right heel back, thus lifting your right knee. Good pose for stability, courage, grace, determination, fun, friskiness, hilarity. Three, two, one, drop your knee. Inhale, arms up, touch down. Exhale your paws back down to the floor. Fold your right toes under. Step back for a downward facing dog. Woof. Woof. Oh, we haven't done a chaturanga, a chimichanga for a long time. Let's try it out. Come forward for plankage. Low plank is optional. Push up into upward pup. Bird vimukha. Lift my hips. Wag my tail. Look up. Things are looking up. And back to down is facing dog. Woof. Mm hmm. And now for fun, we'll just take our right leg all the way up to the ceiling. It's kind of like a split, isn't it? The right leg should go all the way over, but not for me. Push the left heel down. Do what you can. It's not about being perfect. It's too much of that in yoga. You got to be perfect. No progress. Bring your right foot down. Bring your left leg up. All the way up. Stand up on your right tippy toes to bring your left leg up higher. Push the right heel down now so you scrunt. Good. Bring that foot down. Excellent. Inhale. Look forward. Bend your knees. Exhale, heels down, chest down, buns up high. One, two, three. Good. And then down to all fours. Cats and cows. Mm, cats and cows, they always work every time. Seems. Good, now pointer dog, left arm forward, right leg back. Head down, chin down, arm forward, right heel pushes back, right toes extend back. Reach back, left hand, grab right foot. Pull your leg up. Uh, touch the back of your head with your right tippy toes, for sure. Good, now left arm out to the side, right leg back. Now that famous threading of the needle, the left arm comes under, you bring your left shoulder, left ear as close to the floor as you can without letting it touch. Unwind, extend your left arm back out to the side, inhale, lift up. This time thread the needle, do bring left shoulder, left ear down to the floor. Take your right arm up, right leg up. Grab your right ankle and straighten out your right leg la 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 <laughs> we're cooking with gas now kids three two one release arm and leg back up bring it down cats and cows good saturday sequence Good, now point your dogs, right arm, left leg. 
point drop chin though get as pointy and as long and as extended as you can reach back right hand grab left foot now for a lot of modern adult humans just reaching back and grabbing your foot is dang good work and you belong in my class if you can bring the foot to the back of your head your dancer ballerina kind of thing that's cool thanks for coming good now right arm out to the side left leg back thread the needle and don't touch your right shoulder or your right elbow or your right ear to the floor just get as low as you can turn as much unwind inhale get big exhale bring right shoulder right ear down to the floor left leg all the way up to the squealing left arm flings up flinging ing, 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 ing. reach up grab ankle really good for your hip flexor and then straighten your left leg Woo! yeah kids and release come on out cats and cows good then hands forward knee plank this is all you have to do i know push-ups are, con are uh, controversial and if you want to do one push-up then that would be good maybe a couple But now on your elbows, fold your toes under, and we'll conclude frisky segment of Saturday with 30 seconds of plank. We should always be giving planks. Every day is planks giving. Firm it up. Be courageous. 10 nine eight seven six five four three two one now happy relax down to your right ear jiggle your buns cool your jets heart goes pitter pat left ear Okay, timing is good for a finishing yin sequence now. So we'll reconvene on our buns, sitting together. We'll close our eyes. We're going to stabilize our breath. For most of us, a sequence like that gets the breath going, and we're just going to smooth it out, calm it down for a few breath cycles. We are calm, peaceful souls. It's important to be able to go from zero to 60 as fast as a Tesla. And it's important to go from 60 to zero as fast as a Tesla. Good, we'll chant an ohm and we'll move into our finishing sequence. Big inhale. Stop thinking. Greg says, you can stop thinking. Good. All right. Extend your left leg out. 
Bring your right ankle up over your knee, so the foot's out to the side. Hold your left shin under. If this pose doesn't work, just sit regular cross-legged. Arms out. Grab elbows. Work them side to side. Ooh. Get into those tight, squishy areas. Loosen up those energies for creativity, love, insight engagement, participation, creativity. Good, now we'll bring right forearm down on top of left forearm. Hands relaxed, tall spine, chin level, eyes closed, tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth. Again, stop thinking, start being. The perfect ecstasy of being available all the time, but frequently missed by most, frequently missed by most. We're okay, and then we're swimming through the blue lagoon toward each other, cleverly grabbing the block, putting it in front, grabbing my right wrist with my left hand, and getting the block the correct size so I can rest my forehead and my butt down and do pearl pose. Very calming, very centering, very introspective. Exhale all the air out. Rise up, super yogis. Regular inhale. Lace hands, drop them. Lengthen spine by pushing palms up. Turn super right. Left hand, right knee, right arm behind you. Get the finishing twist that you need. If you're quite supple, maybe your right arm goes behind your back and you reach all the way around and grab your right, right heel, right ankle. Or you just do this. Find a yoga of your own understanding. Inhale. Good, we'll release out of side A and we'll conclude with side B. Right ankle out, right leg out, the whole thing. Lefty ankle over your right knee. Fold right shin under in the famous pose known as Yogasana. And again, for some people, this just doesn't fit their body. You can, it's okay to just sit. As long as you're in the class, participating, doing the best you can, you will always accrue the benefits of yoga. It's the way that it works. God is not keeping his blessings a secret from us. Grab your elbows, switch it the weird feeling way. Bring your up, bring your arms up, he should say, side, side. Mm. It's like there's never a point where I've done enough of this. It's like, yeah, I'm done. It's like every day, it's a daily reprieve from congestion and stickiness. It's a daily release based upon my activity and engagement of any day. You can't live on yesterday's mana, to put it in religious terms, so to speak. A lot of ways to say it. Good, bring arms down. Left arm should be on top of right. Relax hands. Tall spine, chin level, eyes closed, tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth. Let's say a couple of affirmations together. I am a calm and peaceful soul. Be still and know that I am God, Psalm 46. Good, and lastly, Yoga Sutra 1.2, Yoga, Chitta, Vritti, Narodaha. Yoga is the calming of the turbulence of my head and heart. Good, now swim toward me. 
cleverly grab whatever blocks you're going to use. Grab left wrist with right hand and make an edifice for your edifice. Inhale, come up. Yoga slows down my thinking. Inhale, lace your hands, push paws up, long spine, butt down, turn left super much, right hand, left knee, left arm behind you, and twist yourself into the twist that you need. Remember, left arm can always go behind back, grab left ankle, pull the heel into your hip, etc or something a bit more prosaic is fine out with the old you can't put new grape juice into old grape juice containers inhale here exhale release and it's a concluding ohm before Shavasana. Inhale. Om. Very good job, my friends. I'm going to hold time and space for you whilst you relax on your back for five minutes. Blessed Shavasana, yogis were very smart to put five minutes of happy at the end of class, but there's a reason we can assimilate, catalyze, integrate these great energies we've released in our soul and bring them into alignment with um, universal wisdom, God's will. And in you go, kids, five minutes. Don't skip this. Good, a little leg wiggle, a little jaw movement, a little shoulder blade release, eyes roll back, pose starts now.
Okay, beautiful friends, stay in the pose, relax even more, but there's that guy's voice from afar off. Breathe back toward your skin. Good, now it's the Church of Greg, to whatever degree that is, and in this moment of connection between soul and spirit, if you'd like to invite God, love, source, infinite, organizing glory into yourself, it's a good time. Never from coercion or convincing, but from choice. God, come on in. God's very polite. She won't bother us unless we ask. Good. If you prayed that little prayer with me, wiggle your fingers and toes and circulate super ecstatic feel God around yourself. And curl on to your right side when you're ready. Now, please keep your eyes closed as we sit up together. It keeps our center. It keeps our sanctuary. It establishes that monastery inside of us. Hands to our most beautiful heart. If you go deep into your heart and I go deep into mine, we come to the same heart together. That means namaste. All right, I really enjoyed that. YouTubers first, thank you for your growing support and sharing this all the way around the world. It's really cool to watch this grow and spread. And in my humble opinion, the world can really use what yoga has to offer, nothing less than conscious contact with the infinite. So thanks for liking and subscribing down below. We'll see you guys next time.